I made a zipline using the Unity game engine where you can go from point A to point B, point B to point A, or just stop in the middle of the ride. For shooting out a zipline, I made a zipline script which has three public variables. It includes a public game object called zip point, which holds an object which I use to spawn the zip lines. It has a public material which I use to give it the, li the line between the points a color. And at last a public layer mask which I use as a condition to when I try to shoot out a zip line, it will then check if, it ha if the game object which I'm shooting on has the right layer and if it does, it will then spawn the zip line. Then I have an if statement that checks if I press the left mouse button, and if I do, I'll then try, try and shoot a raycast out of the camera, where I have a local raycast hit variable as the output of the raycast. Then I'll instantiate two game objects, the zip1 and zip2. The zip1 will be instantiated at my place position, and the zip2 at the point where my raycast hit on the surface. Then I get access to both of the childs which I'll then name point 0.1 and point 0.2 and also I'll give them two tags named point 0.1 and point 0.2 which I'll show later what is useful. Then after that I've included a bunch of spaghetti code which add the necessary components to the child objects. Then inside my player script I have a constant raycast which updates every single frame and looks for a zip line it can take. If it can take a zip line, you press E and it will then try and access the zip line point and then start a coroutine. As you can see, the name of the coroutine is named zip line and it takes two arguments. The first argument is a line renderer, which we just get the component from, the child object where we hit. And then followed by a bool statement, a true or false. If it's true, it means we try to get access through the point one, and if it's false, then try and get access from the point two. Also at the bottom of the function, if we are writing the zip line and we press space, we will stop all curl routines and go back to the default settings. Then at the start of the curl routine, after we got the points where we want to move from, we start by calculating the distance between the two points by using a vector free dot distance and then calculate the duration it will take by taking the distance and divide it by the movement speed of a player and then at last we disable the gravity. Then inside a while loop we will move a character by using a vector free dot lerp function. The way I use lerping is the same way that John did it in his blog about the wide rate to lerp in Unity, which also includes a few visual examples, and I use the smooth step function to, to use my lerping. I can really recommend the website and I'll leave a link in the description. Then after the while loop is finished, I make sure that the player's position is the same as the destination and then I go back to the default settings. And that was how I made the zip line. I made a public GitHub res respiratory which you can where you can download the Unity project and access the code yourself and modify it to your needs if you want to. And that's all I got for you. See you.